Welcome back to the 2022 Select Series. I am here with uh, Joe Myers and John Herrick, who lead our Angus acquisition efforts. And we just wanted to spend a few minutes and talk about the dollar maternal index. Uh, we have a lot of team discussions about this particular index, and uh, it's something we've been really focused on the last couple of years and building a lineup around it. Um, and it's actually been super exciting to us that we've seen so much interest um, evolve in it, Joe, over the last couple of months. And maybe I think you do a great job of speaking to that and kind of what you've seen in the, the purebred Angus world. As we visit with breeders and, you, and you're on more people's farms and ranches, it, it just comes up more in conversation. So we know it's on people's mind. And now that we've got some tools, now that we have that index and we've got uh, claw and angle to work with and uh, putting more emphasis on uh, maternal traits back on the cow, um, I just think it's going to be ever more important and I uh, commend the American Angus Association for some of the decisions they've made in creating the Maternal Plus program and, and encouraging breeders to report more data that is going to help build, build better cows. Um, so when you think about all the tools that are there now and some that they've got in the pipeline coming. Uh, I can foresee in the very near future uh, cattle that can really do a lot of things very, very well. Yeah, and a couple components to the dollar M index that we talk about specifically among our team. Uh, one of those would be foot and angle, Joe, that you've talked about. And, you know, um, John, we've sent you out to look at a lot of bulls. You've got to, to do a lot of foot scoring for us. And, you know, kind of what do you see? Where do you, you know, think we need to necessarily be? I know as a group we kind of talked about we're really trying to stay in the top half of the breed in terms of foot scores among the bulls that we bring into our lineup. Yeah, Lauren, I think uh, as we're out in the field, we see lots of differences in foot quality. And, and uh, you know, as, as we're starting to see, it's, it's genetic correlation is, is going with that. And so as we study the cattle, I think, you know, when we are looking at acquiring bulls for a maternal lineup, I think we're going to want to be above average for, you know, mm -hmm. for above breed average for foot quality. And, and when we're finding those elite maternal bulls, I think we even want to better that by quite a bit as we look at those bulls in terms of the angle and, and the claw EPDs. Mm -hmm. Another component of that uh, that I think is really important is heifer pregnancy. So, you know, we know that probably the most important trait to a commercial cow-calf producer's profitability is fertility of his cow herd. And it's something that we haven't had any objective measurements um, on and so I get really excited about the heifer pregnancy EPD just because I've seen uh, the impact that it can have um, you know from an economic perspective right. Joe uh, talk a little bit about where you see heifer pregnancy going and where we put our emphasis well heifer pregnancy is is bottom line and that early maturity that early breed up uh, probably adds as many dollars as anything in a, in a commercial setting and um, so as we have more information and more emphasis put on that, I, I think we're going to see heifer pregnancy become uh, a, a big part of people's selection criteria. Um, and obviously it drives profit, but it also, um, as our predictors with DNA and our EPDs, as they become more accurate, we can identify those before we even get to some of that point if they're really, really on the low side of that. And we're, we, I don't know if we're there yet or not, but I can see that coming in the future, you know. Yeah. And so there's, there's, uh, I think it's one of the most important traits that we, that we have to deal with. Yeah. Um, the other one is mature size. And again, uh, that's one we've had a lot of team discussions about because we have customers, honestly, on both ends of the spectrums. Mm -hmm. So we have folks that, you know, are in harsher environments, need more moderate framed cattle. We have some folks whose feed resources and environment allow them to probably run a little bigger cow. John, you're in an environment in Nebraska where you kind of have both represented, I think, pretty well. You know, we have some places uh, like the Sandhills of Nebraska where it's quite different than than you know, eastern Nebraska, where we have plenty of resources to feed those those mm -hmm. cattle, and the performance is you know is more oriented. I guess I would just like to add a little bit on the maternal side. If you know, if we think about what our commercial guys are doing, um, you know, there's a, a very important part of our segment of the industry that they're AI and to make daughters. Mm -hmm. And I think those commercial guys are particularly paying attention to the traits, those doability traits that we've discussed in this segment, in the bulls that they're utilizing their AI and to make daughters. And I think uh, the traits we've talked about are very important to them. We're, we're trying to, uh, as breeders, make cattle that are trouble-free and they can 
they can actually do it all. I think it's becoming ever more popular and um, we will be putting in bulls that incorporate that more into our lineup. Well, we just wanted to share a little bit with you in terms of uh, our philosophy towards Dollar M and some of the discussions that we have as a team. And we hope that you check out uh, the really exciting Dollar M lineup that we have in our 2022 Spring Sire Directory. Mm -hmm.